is good, Nintendorks. Welcome to MK Gaming, and I am Kyle, aka Mr. Space Heater, and today I actually have an unboxing for you. I haven't done one in a long time, um, but I thought it might be kind of fun to get back on that track and kind of, you know, change things up a bit for what we've been doing predominantly lately, which is really just streaming for the most part. I found this at the store, used some points. And I rolled with it. We got the Mario Dungeon set that just came out recently. I know you can find a bunch of them at Target. I found this one at GameStop. I don't really have a lot of the Mario sets besides like the Micro Land sets and a couple of the figures. So I thought it might be kind of fun to jump in and I'm sure my kids will enjoy it when I'm done with this video. I mean, let's be real. I just wanted to open it for you guys and take a look at what's inside, the quality of it, and if it is actually worth the purchase. Let's dive in. So here is the front of the box. It's a little busy all over the place. Honestly, I thought it was the back the first time I looked at it. But yes, this is the front letting you know there are seven interactive pieces. This is everything that is inside, even though the back is misleading and it does give you the extra characters in here which are not included as far as I know. I mean, we obviously still need to open it. Don't know which sets they come in though, but these are all the sets that recently came out. I know this one was at GameStop as well, but this particular box is, I found a whole bunch of Target today actually while I was there. So probably not that hard to find. So I guess, you know, without further ado, I guess let's go ahead and pop this open. So it looks like, is it a drawer compartment? Yes, it is. Slides right out. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. There's everything on the inside of the box, but it is all still packaged and pretty. So let's go ahead and start getting all of these out here. This looks like Mario and some scenery. This is, of course, the dungeon door, the thwomp, and all his anger. It's pretty thick, man. Oh, we've got part of the backdrop. We've got more backdrop. Nice. And then it looks like we've got floor. So here are our floor pieces, and here are, I'm assuming, instructions or what little of them there are. So it looks like I've got these backwards. So it looks like that's the floor, which I think these kind of clip together. It's not exactly like a there's no really click sound, it just kind of wedges in there and sticks. Sweet. Start taking some of these other pieces out of the package. This is a bunch of our little stuff here. Come here, Mario. Get on out of there. This dude has no neck. Look at this. Here, let's get the other scenery. There's actually a lot of pieces to this. Talk about a There's some assembly required here. All right. We got, oh, again, there's no real clip sound. Everything is kind of just a wedge in. Don't push expecting to hear some sort of click or any sort of notification that you have completely inserted it. It looks like you just give it some pressure until it's all the way in. We've got our platform back here that you can move up and down. They do have ridges on the back to hold them in place, so it's not like they just fall and slide down, which is kind of neat. If not a little excessively loud, I must admit. And then we can start placing all our extra pieces out here that we have opened so far, such as the fire wheel. And then, oh, just a ledge. So we've got slots in the back for our question mark blocks. Does that stay down? I don't think, oh, there we go. So it does go down. Oh, and there is a button on the bottom. With a bit of pressure, that coin does come out. Ta-da! Takes a little bit more pressure than I feel like it should. Like that button is not, oh, it's more like in the back. Like if, you're more, if you push more towards the back of the block, it'll pop up as opposed to the front really, which is interesting, but that's pretty neat. So I've got this little piece here. Which I'm pretty sure goes to this big guy. So let's get this guy out of the plastic. Now he is gigantic. I mean, man, they're big in the game. I mean, what am I, what am I supposed to say here? But like, look at this comparison, my friends. That's serious. 
I mean, Mara, you are in some serious danger here, my friend. So, I gotta figure out how this guy hangs. Actually, it goes like this. Hello. I thought it would, like, insert to the back of the thwomp or something like that. But the truth is, it goes like that, and this dude just rests on the front of it. No kidding. Huh. And then there is a lever in back where you can drop it. I feel like this one really only needs one click at the top. Like there should just be one at the top, you pull a lever and the whole thing falls. Cause that's the whole idea of the thwomp. You don't want this obnoxious all the way down, right? I don't know, maybe I'm just, I'm just making it too complicated probably. This is why I don't make toys, right? One more piece to put on here, of course. It's pretty bare over here. Only one more thing wrapped in plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy out. And then we're gonna go ahead and analyze all the pieces, the overall quality, and is it worth the price tag? Everything just has some sort of circle on the bottom, some sort of hole. It's nothing crazy. They just kind of snap in place. At least those ones let you know when they're all the way clipped in as opposed to all the backdrops and everything like that. Now, this is a really neat toy, honestly. I mean, I like the dungeon background. I like that this freely swings. But in terms of a toy, it does come with a lot to offer, especially if you have more Mario figures that you can go ahead and play with. Taking a look at everything that we have here, this is pretty cool. I mean, everything is super interactive. You've got the fire wheel that spins. Again, you have your platforms that move up and down, even if they are extremely obnoxious, in my opinion. All these are interchangeable. For example, we could take this ledge and pull it right off, I hope. Are they perfect? Permanent? Might I be wrong? It would appear so. The way the pieces are designed, it does not seem like there's a lot of interchangeability here. Although this ledge does feel pretty useless, I kind of just wanted to see if I can take it off for the sake of the review here. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. All right, so that was super loud, first of all. Secondly, um, it did come off, and nothing actually broke, so I actually stand incorrect on that one. These are interchangeable, however, it is quite a pain to do so. Even though it doesn't thoroughly make sense, I just want to show that it is interchangeable, and that is a pain in the butt. I'm not going to do that twice. The other problem with this piece I'm seeing is that that legend can go all the way down. Alright, we're going to put those back. I guess even with this piece here though, this let oh, it just barely misses. Just barely. This piece is a little bit shorter than this one is in terms of their depth into the toy. So really these pieces actually do all have a specific place. Um, pretty much when you set this up, this is how you're going to set it up. That's a little disappointing in the sense is if they make more of these, whether they be dungeon or outside pieces, I mean, there really is no building onto them in the first place. These have flat edges. I guess you really couldn't attach anything else to it. So, that being said, it looks like this set is a standalone set. It doesn't seem like in the future there will be other ones that you can interchange with it. That's not entirely a terrible thing. However, it was nice to have the World of Nintendo minifigure sets because those came with pieces that were like puzzles where you could build them into something new and rearrange them. That was kind of nice. But taking this as it is, it still is not bad. I mean, it's very interactive again. I mean, this door opens, just like in the game. We've got the swing lever, we've got the thwomp, which you can manually move up and down. Again, very obnoxious. In no way is it stable. We've got this guy, I think, does pop up and gets you that coin. It'd be nice if this came with like a mushroom or something for the other one. And then of course your Mario, who is one of the more solid Mario action figures I've actually had the pleasure to play with. In terms of quality, and, and when it comes to the paint, doesn't look bad at all. I mean the lava's a little weird, but otherwise it's nice having kind of the digital printed stickers on the back. The plastic looks nice. The thwomp's a little weird in many aspects, but it's nice to have such a solid piece as a character. That's a pretty solid thwomp toy, let me tell you. It probably doesn't get much better than that. Um, the door is cool, it's not a little flimsy. Um, these pieces are nice, but again, it would have been nice to have interchangeability and be able to move those around and have them fit better without having specific places to put each part. Outside of that, I mean, this has been my review on the Super Mario Deluxe Dungeon playset. It is really cool. I think your kids will find it awesome if they like Mario toys, or Mario in general, or Nintendo in general, or any of the above, just because this is more extensive than most of the Mario toys we've gotten in the past. Obviously, Nintendo toys are getting a lot cooler as we get older. I mean, I'm in my 20s, but it's going to be nice to be able to share this with my children as long as they're good at school. 
But outside of that, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Be sure to tell your friends, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that fun stuff. Go ahead and give people your two cents based on what you saw here. Give me your two cents and leave a comment below if you think this toy is cool or absolutely obnoxious. I would understand if your opinion went either way. If you yourself want to get your hands on this toy, be sure to check out GameStop, Target, and other retailers that do carry Nintendo and World of Nintendo figures. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mr. Space Heater, and I'm switching off.